Washington lawmakers are close to striking a deal on a $900 billion relief package, one that could include another round of stimulus checks. CBS's Nancy Cordes is joining us now from the nation's capital. Nancy, a number of provisions from the CARES Act are expiring at the end of this month. What do you know about what lawmakers are agreeing on? Well, the biggest development is the fact that it looks like these stimulus checks are going to be included in the final bill. That's something that we had led to believe just wasn't going to happen, that it was just too expensive. But now uh, aides to congressional leaders tell us it looks like maybe a six or $700 check per person for most American workers will be included in the bill. So that's big news. But then you've also got unemployment benefits, federal benefits on the order of $300 a week for about four months. That will be in the bill. Food assistance, rental assistance for struggling renters, um, billions of dollars for small businesses to help them keep the lights on and keep their employees working, uh, $80 billion or so for schools, and then billions more for testing, tracing, and vaccine uh, development and disbursement. So uh, a lot of different pots here. Um, and, and at the end of the day, something that will end up helping almost every American during a very difficult time. That's right. We know that this is a lifeline for so many people, and the pressure for this deal is intense. Long Lawmakers are also running out of time because the legislative session ends next week. Where is the holdup and what happens next? Right. Well, Republican uh, leader Kevin McCarthy over in the House told reporters a short time ago that re they're really down to the fine print at this point. And as you can imagine, when you're talking about a $900 billion bill, that's a lot of fine print. Mm. Uh, and so uh, there may not be major stumbling blocks at this point, but it just takes a while to get it all hammered out, written into legislative language. And you're right, they don't have much time. In fact, uh, this morning I was talking to uh, a Democratic senator, Joe Manchin, of West Virginia who's been very involved in these negotiations. He said if they want to be able to pass something by the end of the week, they really need to be hammering out uh, the very last bits of this agreement today and releasing bill text so the House can vote on Thursday and hopefully the Senate on Friday. If that doesn't happen, then it looks like this might bleed into the weekend. But the bottom line is that leaders say they're not going home until they get this done. So uh, there could be some pretty nice stocking stuffers for American families if everything goes as planned. A lot of people certainly hoping that's the case. Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes, thank you so much for your time. She will have much more on this tonight on the CBS Evening News coming up right here on WBZ.